Today, we're going over the five commandments, and these are the core principles of storytelling that are present in every unit of story. So by looking at them in Ed McBain's Eyewitness, we're going to get a really good foundation for how to apply these principles to any unit of story from a scene all the way up to a global story, because the short story is both. The first of the five commandments is the inciting incident. And this is an unexpected event that kicks off the events of the story. It comes from outside of the protagonist and incites the protagonist to action. This is something that knocks the protagonist's life off balance, and they have to come up with a strategy to deal with the inciting incident that has come into their life. Tim, what would you say the inciting incident of Ed McBain's eyewitness is? I think it's off the page. Since this is a crime story, we've established that, which means it's about justice versus injustice. Maybe it was when Mr. Struthers shows up to give his testimony. But then I realized like, okay, the protagonist can never be the source of the inciting incident because the inciting incident is what knocks the protagonist's life off of balance. I think it was when he witnessed the murder of the police lieutenant's wife, which would be a coincidental inciting incident because he just happened to be walking down the street. That would be off the page, but that is what knocked his life out of balance that got him to show up at the police station. What you described was very, very good, but it was not coincidental. Coincidental means it's an emergent property of the world. It's not an emergent property. Murders just don't happen. They just don't emerge. 